Ah, uh, did we have to wait so long again for another the Grey Man chapter? Even though this one was so incredibly short, Jesus, when I just seen that like cut, like, like the crate and all, I just wanted, I wanted more just from there. I'm just definitely leaning up for a lot of hype to come, and especially some kind of finale, if anything, that they're going to be setting up to. So let's get right into it. So definitely want to get the elephant out of the room. That isn't me, and that especially is how short this chapter was. Like I think a lot of people are going to be like, what the fuck? man why was this so short fuck like the a creator of this and like she's super fucking lazy and it's like there's some sort of like actual stuff to go around there if people don't know a lot about what's going on with the creator of this like hoshino katsura she is incredibly ill like uh throughout the mo most of it and all that she has like been bedridden for a long time like I, there are a lot of articles and a lot of like stuff that you hear on the information about her where she's just dealt with crazy amounts of illness. I think even as well, like, like throughout the past stuff and all that, I don't know, especially what the, like, um, recent stuff that she's handling, like, I don't think it was cancer, but I know it was something that she has been, like, forced to be bedridden for quite a while, like, with a four on there. And I do feel bad, and you're thinking, like, White Panda, though, you always give, like, someone like Tagashi a very hard time on this shit, and why are you being so low on, like, a, someone like Hoshino Katsura? And you can, I can completely agree with that. And however, though, I do feel like, like Kasa, she has taken one big, like, huge break on her throughout the entire time. And at least I can say throughout that, though, she was fighting to get you to keep her manga. There was a point where apparently she was going to lose it at some point, the license or something. Saying, like, no, you know, you're not putting out consistent chances, fuck you. And that's where she can continue fighting. And the fact is, like, even though she's, like, fucking, like, um, like insanely ill, she is still actually drawing chapters and powers. Tagashi, he does his, like, couple of chapters and then just fucks off for a while. He does whatever the fuck he wants. And the guy can clearly still fucking work when he's going around at parties, when he's, like, dicking around doing some shit for, like, some sort of festival around, like, where he, uh, like, where he lives and all that. So... I kind of, I don't know, there's just a little bit more I kind of respect about, like, 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 Katara, her, uh, like, Hoshino, a little bit more, where now it's just, like, I can see when she's actually generally trying, and, like, maybe it's just me as well being a bit more of a bigger fan of uh, Tigre Man, but especially I do really like that about it. So, yeah, I thought I'd just clarify some of that if people want to know, yeah, like, uh, like the creator is pretty goddamn seriously ill and all that. And I hope that doesn't mean we're going to have to wait a, lot, a little bit more longer to come and all that. That's especially why, like, this uh, the magazine as well, like, it wasn't in the last issue and all that. Because we did have to wait a while because I'm pretty sure she was pretty goddamn ill. And I think the pages were something to back it up on. But we start off this chapter immediately with the Millennium Earl uh, disappearing. Tiki there trying to send them off. And it's just like, let's just get out of here. Uh, and it's just, especially as he's just there, like, the only words that, like, anything at all that Tiki said, and it wasn't even to Alan, it wasn't to the Earl, it wasn't to, like, any of them at all, and all that, it was just eternally inside and saying, I'm not gonna let you, like, ever see, you know, like, the Millennium Earl, uh, like, and the 14th to Ellen meet again, because he knows what exactly that's gonna mean, both of them are gonna break down and go crazy, and, like, when we saw this as well, like, Alan just immediately rushes in, and he just screams out and all that, he just screams out to, like, the, like, the Millennium Earl, he goes, mana, like that, and even when he turns around, I, like, I love, like, there's just this one panel that you see a Tiki just turning around like and he's just smoking and there's just like clear disgust in his face just like this isn't alan this isn't the person like i used to know and all that that i like i fucked around with toyed with and shit this isn't that same like kid anymore like and especially when he's just like he's going there and he's like naya and all that and he's like you know I, like as they're talking there it's like see you later though mana and all that next time i'll be the one to come and visit you and especially i'm gonna be the one to come and kill you as well just you think about this, this is, like, uh, the main character, like, saying this, albeit it is inside of him on that, that isn't him, though, like, you know, from all of it, like, like, it is, it's Nea in there, and it's, like, you, it's still saying it from the position of, like, that's Alan's, like, body there, like, you're seeing that, it's just creepy to see that, and just, like, you could clearly see some clear fucking emptiness when that character was being said there, it's just, like, I love that panel especially. It was really just goddamn like terrifying to see that your main character was saying that, like you like just saying like I'm gonna come and kill you. And if anything, like with the whole of them disappearing afterwards and all that, I think that is setting up like they they are destined to clash once more. Of course it is. Like that's how it's always been from the start of the series. They've been going back, uh, like back and forth, back and forth. And I think like definitely the next time these guys seriously clash is gonna be their last. Like I think like this is anything. This art from what I got from this chapter especially is that this is setting up for, like, maybe one big finale. Like, I'm not going to say, like, the, the finale is going to come anytime soon, especially with the consistency and everything and all that, but, and especially how long the arcs are anyway, Indie Grey Man. So, 
if anything, it could be setting up for a finale, although we could be waiting that for a good like, amount of years, if anything, and all that, depending on how fast pacing the final arc wants to be. Although the like last part of this chapter was able to set, see Tiki sending him out, it's just like, every time he just looked at him, it's just like, I, I, like, you're a fucking monster. I want nothing to do with you. And he just sends him into the port. He knows. He wants the Earl out of there. And, like, it, Jeremy looks like he is going to, like, confront him in any way. But, I, if anything, I don't think he's going to confront him with violence, if anything. Like, I, I know that's saying a lot from an action series, but he doesn't really seem like, like, Tiki, especially right, right there, as he's just looking at him. He's like, it doesn't seem like at all that he's going to try anything. Or, uh, like, unless, like, Nay, like, it tries to attack him at the end. But I don't know. Like, that, if anything and all that, like, I clearly it shows and all that. I don't think Tiki's going to be the one to instigate it all and all that. Because Nay is fucking crazy for the most part. The poor team is insane. And that's where it's going to be going and all that. And unfortunately, it's right there where that's the chapter ending. Right at that point and all that. And it's just like, Tiki can get, like, you know, he can like, a chance encounter with him. And it's like, I'm wondering and all that. One earth is he going to be saying, and whether or not, like, it looked right at the end of the panel, though, that this was Alan returning, if anything. Like, maybe we saw a little bit of Alan in those eyes. Like, it's hard to tell sometimes, because, like, I, I don't think it's very hard with sometimes how the 14th is drawn, and the same thing with him. Like, because I still think the 14th is control the body, but I think since Alan as well can sometimes see this at the same time, it's a little weird right now, and all that, how to describe it. But honestly, like, this was the chapter. Boy, was it short. Yes, I really wish I wanted more. Yes, I wanted, like, double the amount of this stuff and all that. It sucks. I, we're going to have to wait a couple months and all that. If, that hap if not, we might have to go on a irregular, like, uh, status and all that. It's, like, very unsure at the moment whether or not, like, you know, she's going to be getting better enough to, like, come back for the next issue or whether or not we are going to have to get into an irregular situation with the grandma where it could be, like, two chapters a year or something at that point, which I, you know, I fear. I, like, I, fear, I do not want that to be the case, but, you know, Definitely, like, just a setup for 2017 it could be a very interesting end. And I think right there, as that was happening, like, I think we could honestly be right at the very end of the Searching for Alan Walker kind of arc that we are in. So that's going to be something now. And, like, especially now that the Millennium Earl has left, like, the, the whole area right now, like, with all of that, and Sony Tiki and, like, Naya, like, I'm very curious to see what that. And plus, you know, Alan is already going through his own weird little journey right now for what we've seen from the last couple of chapters. But... Definitely a goddamn really enjoyed this chapter, and yeah, the, just I loved Tiki in this entire, like, chapter and all that. Just the fact that he didn't need to have to say any words at all to any of the characters. He only said one in total thing, like, one little text box, and the rest of it, I feel like, was very easily portrayed. But just how, like, he was honestly, like, looking at, like, fucking Alan and everything. Like, you could just see it, like, where it's just, like, just disgust. Like, that's not the Alan I knew. That is the 14th. Like, there's Naya, and he's a piece of shit. Overall, I did enjoy this chapter. Yes, there was just so little to talk about, though, and all that. So, yeah, honestly, I'm not going to score this chapter, if anything. I do like it, but I can easily see the flaws of, like, about this chapter. And I feel like, especially if this was, like, marathoning, if he was, like, all of the Grey Man was done, and you could just read, 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 go through all of it and all that. I know a lot of people just had an absolute blast go through and all this, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below what you thought about this chapter of the Grey Man, especially yeah, when you think of the whole scenario. Do you think we're going to be back on a regular basis with the Grey Man, or do you think we are going to kind of try and get like about four chapters a month, which we're kind of going for at the moment, I believe, but that is all for me, though, so thank you much for watching as always, and I'll see you guys, though, next time.